Today I'm making a knife maker's vise. This will be useful for things like filing or hand sanding because I can move the blade around in different positions without having to unclamp it every time. I'm making this out of a piece of two and a half inch pipe and a piece of two inch pipe and another piece of a quarter inch plate. All in all, the material cost for this project was probably uh, 30 bucks or so for the pipe and the plate. So I got all my dimensions marked out and cut the pieces of pipe out on the little bandsaw, portable bandsaw that I made. It's turned out to be a really useful tool. I'll put a link up at the top if you want to check out my video on making that portable bandsaw. And there I'm cutting a notch out. That's the vertical piece. Uh, so it's going to mate up to the other piece of pipe there. And I'm just taking a little bit off with the saw before I go back and uh, finish up the shape with the angle grinder. Once I had the pieces of pipe all cut out and, and finished up, I moved on to the base plate and got it all marked out and took it over to the bandsaw to cut out the piece. And it was time to mark the holes. Uh, I'm just using a little punch there to get all my holes lined up before I go over to the drill press and drill the holes. And then I just decided to go ahead and tap the holes uh, for the thumb screws. This was Schedule 40 pipe, and so it was, I don't know, a quarter inch thick or so. And hopefully it'll be thick enough. I thought about welding some nuts on there on the outside of the pipe, uh, but I think it'll do all right, just threaded, having the pipe threaded. And I'm welding the support to the base there. I'm not a welder. If you can't tell by my welds, I probably need to practice that a little bit. So once I had it all welded up, I used some clear spray paint to put a protective coating just to kind of keep it from, keep the rust down. I uh, could have used colored, but I just preferred the color of the metal. And let that dry overnight, and then the next day went and started cutting out the wood inserts that are going to go inside the device to hold the knife. And I just took a 2 by 4 of some teak wood that I had lying around. Cut that out, put a little spacer in there so I could mark the shape so it would fit inside the pipe. And then I just cut that little bit of excess off on a bandsaw and then went over to the belt sander to grind out that curve, that shape. And uh, that's a piece of a scrap aluminum. I use that on the top of the insert where the set screws come down. Uh, really just because uh, if I would have left it wood, the screws are just going to bite into the wood and chew up the wood. So I put that little aluminum plate on there. And I also used a piece of an old rubber boot. Cut that rubber out and put that on those wooden inserts and that's what's going to hold the knife. And the rubber and aluminum pieces I just used uh, Starbond CA glue to glue that to the wooden inserts. And then really just had to do the final assembly on it at that point. It was a pretty simple project and 
not very expensive. All in all, set screws, pipe, plate, 40 bucks maybe for the whole thing. And I think it'll help me out, save me some time uh, when I'm making knives. Well, I hope you liked the video. If so, please check out some of my other knife making videos. Thanks for watching.